So I want to talk about the last access modifier that we haven't already discussed, and that is protected. We've talked about public, private, internal, but now we're going to talk about protected. Now protected is a keyword which is generally used when you're inheriting classes in C Sharp. So if you haven't seen the tutorial I made on inheritance, and while we're at it, if you haven't seen the tutorial I made on setting up multiple projects in Visual Studio, then I highly recommend you check those out first. Here we have a very basic example. I have a main class here. It just sets up four video game objects here. If we look at the video game class here, not much is going on. It has one private field and a constructor. And it inherits from a main game base class here. And it calls the games constructor from here. So very simple, nothing we haven't seen before. If we look at the base class, it has three private fields. It has a constructor. It has a sample public method and a couple of sample public properties here. So here we have uh, lots of public things going on here. Now the protected keyword, it applies to methods like this one and properties as well. And if something is marked as protected, then it's only available to the current class, for example, game, and anything descending from that, so all of its children. Think of it if you're like the mother of a family, then you only want to share protected things with your children or your grandchildren, for example. So think of it like that, it's protected. So right now, this is a public method here, and it, it all, all it does, it gets the name and joins some strings together and the publisher. Right now it's public, so we can access this from anywhere. We can access it from our main program, we can access it from video game, no problem at all. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make this protected. So you can see there's the protected keyword. And now I've done that, if I instantiate this class here game from the main class here, now the main class isn't a child of that class, then it's not going to let me do that. So let me prove that to you now. So you can see here when I try and access the method, it's not even in this list at all. And watch what happens if I try to access it anyway. So ignoring Visual Studio's autocomplete. If I hover over that, it says it's inaccessible due to its protection level. And that's because it's protected, so it's only available from the current class or the child classes of this class. For example, video game. So video game is a child class because we're inheriting from there. So if we just say base, for example, then we're accessing the base class, which is game. And now we can see this method. It's in the list, and when we try and access that you know there's no errors at all so that's the power of the protected keyword in c sharp but protected there's a couple of combinations that can actually go with protected and that is protected internal and also protected private so protected private and protected internal so these are a couple of combinations we can use when dealing with the protected access modifier so we can basically double up access modifiers, but only when using protected. So you can see here, we can use it in three combinations. By itself, which is what we've already discussed. It's available in the same class. So methods and properties are available in the same class or any of its children. We've discussed that. Next, protected private. If something is marked as protected or private, a method or a property, then it can be accessed in the same assembly, but also from within the same derived class. So if our game class here is in the same project, the same assembly as our child, which would be video game, if these exist in the same project, the same assembly, then we can make use of those methods. However, if this game file here was in a different project, then we cannot access the methods and properties from this child class, and that is private protected. So let me show you an example of that now. So I'm going to mark, um, let's mark publisher. So this is a C sharp property here, publisher. I'm going to mark it as private 
protected. So now, if this class exists outside of the calling assembly, so wherever we want to use this, it's not going to work. So let's have a look at an example of this working. So here we can say, we can say publisher. So we can access this no problem. So if I just say string something equals publisher, there's no problem because we can access it. Now let me move this class here, public class main, outside of the current assembly. So if you saw my tutorial on multiple projects, you'll probably know how to do this. If we come over here to the right hand side, we get our game class, the parent class. I'm just going to drag and drop into the second project I have set up. Uh, the principle is I just don't want it in this project anymore. So now I'm going to delete it. So now game is in this totally different project over here. So now game is in a totally different assembly over here. We can come back to our video game class here, which is in the other assembly. Go over here. And now you can see an error has occurred. So it can still find game because we're referring the other project. So it knows where it is. You can see we're inheriting from there. However, now a red line has appeared. And if you hover over that, it says, Publisher is inaccessible due to its protection level. And that is because we've made it private protected. And if something's private protected, it has to be within the same assembly, so the same project, and it has to be a descendant of this class. So that is protected private. So now we understand protected private, the same assembly and a child. It's very easy to explain what protected internal is. And that is, it can be a child, any descendant of the class, but it can be in any other assembly. It doesn't matter where the, for example, base class is located. It could be in a totally different project, but as long as it's protected internal, we should be able to access it. So right now we have this error because of protection level, because video game and game are in different assemblies. So I go back to game. I now make this property here protected internal or internal protected. So I've set that up there. I go back to video game and now you can see the error has gone away. So that is the difference between private protected and internal protected. It just means the base class has to be either in the same assembly or not in the same assembly. So those are the three access modifier types when dealing with protected. So the base class and its children, and then we can double it up with private or internal, depending on if the base class is in the same assembly or a different assembly. So that is the protected access modifier in C-sharp.